This is technically the test recording. Yes, except it's not just a test recording. It's a special video. Wow. So, so you guys, uh, you guys know me. I'm a man who likes style, and uh, this game has a lot of it. Uh, so we're gonna see everyone's S crafts because there are a lot of. Well, actually, not everyone's S crafts. Like everyone's last S craft. And we're gonna yeah, yeah, exactly. rate the S crafts. Yeah. Yay! Right. Yay! This is uh, based off of Maximilian Dude's rate the super. God bless that man. So okay. Do we do we have a specific system? Uh, we're uh, gonna insert. go in order from uh, Estelle to Mueller. You know, join time and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking more about ratings. Oh, I see. This yeah. is right. This uh, this is right. The super where the points don't matter and <laughs> was it and everything is okay. Yeah. So from one to ten, ten or you can go above ten if you're super impressed. <laughs> So ten is like, oh my god, and one is like, oh god. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, everyone get it? Yep. Sure. Uh, right, so. No, could you repeat know. that? Are we going in terms of flashiness, or in terms of how useful it is? Uh, just how flashy it is, you know, not like... Okay. Alright, yeah. so, again... Let's go again, this is Raid the Super, where the ratings are made up and the points yep. don't matter. Here's the Wheel of time. Speed. That's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. It's I not like it six out of ten for no clock yeah. and no uh, move cold field of time. <laughs> I, I would uh yeah, yeah, I guess there's no clock, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a seven because it sells my girl. Yeah, I'll <laughs> give it a, a seven point five. Yeah. I really like Wheel of Time. Um, how are you? <clears throat> it still has that Estelle uh, flair of barrage with the orange background and everything, but then she just goes in real hard, and yeah. it's just so fast. She causes a tornado, but the tornado is her punching and not just running, but just boom, 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 boom. I like yeah. it a lot. Also, her voice acting. Yeah. I, I really like her voice lines in... Wheel of time. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know what? Just because of that orange background thing, Chris, I bumped it out to an eight because I didn't notice that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hasn't. Uh, I always said my score. I said eight. Okay. <laughs> now it's Joshua's time. Joshua, oh, it's the boy. Multiple what enemies. Think of. Feels like I'm watching an episode of Bleach. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> it does. Yeah. Basically, yeah. It it I definitely fits Bleach. Josh. It's very fast, very rapid. It's very <laughs> in your face. I I I love it. It's ten for it, me. It looks cooler when uh, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. the fact that the emblem shatters too. That's like very yeah. symbolic. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Um, I I really like Phantom Raid. I don't like M Gear pointed out where like for, when you're fighting a boss, then I prefer Estelle's because it's very sing it's <laughs> single target. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, whereas uh, the way Joshua attacks, he when he only fights one enemy, he does a big, <laughs> and then he's done attacking <laughs> yeah. until the battle. <laughs> Phantom Road. Phantom uh, Road. So it loses some points there because when you're fighting a boss, it kind of loses. It's luster. Okay. Just a yeah. slight yeah. bit. Yeah, I see where you're going. Yeah. Right. Okay. Next up is Agate. Agate! Breaking my limit! Yeah, it's good. There's some, there's some good build up, and I like the whole "You ready for this?" Like he's gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. Eight. Payoff is decent too. I I think I give it an eight. I think that's okay. It is very agate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I like the symbolic nature of it. It's, it's the most uh, after Joshua, of course, the most symbolic of hey, 
this man did an actual dragon die, yeah. and now he's doing it in combat. Yeah. Uh, and that was a moment of growth for him. It was a uh, moment of growth. Yeah. So, I like that. Nice. And, and it's got some good effects. Yeah. In the way the ground flow, uh, shoots up at the end. Yeah, it's a, it's a very slow one, but it's a very satisfying one. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go. Shara. Shara's is interesting. Watch this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boom. So, Shara's S craft is actually random. She could either get the hammer, she can get ice, or she can get instant death. Kind of interesting. Boom. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's all right. You know, Shara <laughs> loves tarot cards. I, it, it fits her character. I think I'm gonna give it a I'll, six slow. I don't know. I'll give it like uh, a point. Yeah. So you yeah. do it, Manga. Yeah, you know, no. Uh, because of the randomness factor, I'd probably bump it up a bit to like do like a a six point five. Oh yeah, that's true. Because in the death one, uh, she summons swords and they stab down. It's pretty good. Yeah, it does make it a little difficult to rate. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not the same one each time. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, where booba? <laughs> where booba? Yeah, they, where booba? <laughs> Right. No. Fortunately, I did set up other files for this, so we don't have to like go back and do all that shit. Yeah. Right. You have Chloe's uh, attacking S craft, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, Chloe. Okay. Oh, it actually froze him. I didn't know that. I think she has a freeze course on. Oh, that might make sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, not much I can it's say. It's a, it's a big spell. Yeah. There's yeah. really not like, much else to a it. Big mm. Physical spell. I'll, I'll, big physical spell. I'll give it a four. No, I like. No, I I, I like the incant. I like the incantation yeah. more if I could hear it better. Because it gives me indignation. It gives me indignation vibes from. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought of indignation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I, 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 no, I, it's a tails e, uh, tails e yeah, special it, attack. You do a like, huge magic spell with indict with an incantation before it. I'm immediately going to think of indignation. And of course, yeah. Merc's a slot for spells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I I like how she shouts Sanctus Nova. Yes, yeah. sounds good. It sounds good. Goddamn bag, my spells. Mm. All right, now you guys are gonna be yeah, real quick for this one. Yeah, be real quick. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, love it. Here we go. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten, ten, absolutely. Ten. It's, ten, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You can't top this. What a man. God, oh, he's it's such a dark he just him. He just plays his guitar very casually and says, I call this a requiem of hearts or whatever. And then he starts, he transforms his guitar into a machine gun. And then he fires out a napalm bomb. This man has no, this has no right to be as cool as he is. God damn it, Olivier. <laughs> Requiem for a doomed heart. <laughs> uh, Requiem for a doomed heart. And he says, take that. And this napalm. And this napalm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It's ah, really good. Don't the it's, a shame, it's a shame it uses strength. <laughs> yeah. He makes, me, he makes me so angry how cool he is. God damn it. I know the feeling. Tita! Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Tita! Tita! I'm getting it! Satellite cannon. A shot. Have a cannon. A big one. <laughs> How does he get that satellite? I don't know. Don't worry about it. 
It was always there. Thanks, yeah. Grandpa. I, I like it. I, I'll give it a. I'll give it a seven. It's a little random, but. Yeah. And the knowing, <laughs> you have no idea. knowing our whole, uh, knowing our whole jokes with Peta and whatnot, and how many times we say I have a cannon, that I have to bump that one up to about like maybe an eight or a nine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah eight. Sir. Eight's fine with me. I think it's all right. And uh, let's go with Zen. I like the, yeah. I like the crater it leaves behind. Yeah. At the very end. <laughs> All right, Zen. Oh no, he knows Kaioken. So Look at it bothers me. All that build up just for one hit. So, so this one's interesting to me because, well, I, I love hearing Patrick Sight screaming and go, and the build up and shit. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And he goes yeah. in for a giant punch, and then he skids back like he's about to do something else, but then it ends. It yeah. ends, yeah. It. It. Yes, it more. If this was remastered, I feel they. I feel like just a little more attention to detail or updating would make that skid a lot more better. Cause I, I like yeah. the skid at the end. Yeah, yeah I, it's gonna. I feel that the damage obviously shouldn't come through. He should skid back, and while he's skidding back, charge up a kamehameha as he does oh, in his yeah. escape. That'd be really and then fire, it off, fire it off while he's skidding, so he goes fly, flying even further back. <laughs> Uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a six. It's good, but it could be better. It's yeah. probably my uh, least favorite one to use like just casually because I'm always so annoyed by it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah it, uh, it really does just leave you hanging. Yeah. Oh man, here's our first utility S craft. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Your first and only S craft. I really like the voice line. It's a good voice yeah. line. I like the, I like the magic circle. The magic circle was actually yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. It, it's it, it isn't much because you know it's not an attack and it doesn't get an upgrade. <laughs> but but it's it's all he needs. Yeah, that's all he needs. I'll I'll, 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 give, I'll give I'll give him a six. It's it's a I nine. I give him an eight, but that's solely because I like Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Kevin. Yeah, I'm guy. giving it an eight as well. Yeah. I have more thoughts on it, but I'll go over them later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now it's uh, Jose. You might be bottom tier, but this rest craft is not. Oh. Oh, hey, Dom's there. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know how you flew in there, but you flew in there. I've always liked airship uh, S-crafts because there was a lot of potential there. Also, uh, part of that potential was how the fuck did you get it indoors? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, that's what... <laughs> it's it's super, super Robot Wars logic. Sanya takes a lake to the moon, it's fine. That's true. I like it. <laughs> I just really enjoy seeing the bobcat here in the final final area. Yeah, it's like thank you, Joseph. Joseph. You fucking prologue final boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this wasn't the fact that she sucked. I actually would use uh, that S craft more often. Yeah, I, I'll give it an eight because I really like airships and the fact that he, she includes her brothers when she fights. I think that's a really nice touch. Yeah. So uh, pretty good. <laughs> Pretty it's pretty good, it's a shame she sucks. Yeah, it's pretty much the Claudia <laughs> from uh, Skies of Arcadia. Uh, her All right. final two contenders. Final two. Alright. Julius first. And then It's all right. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Not terrible. Too, 
too much kinda, happens besides just like trying a triangle. Yeah, that kind of sums up Julia's character. It's all right. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Six. Honestly. I, I very, very I've always been pretty, fairly middling, fairly neutral on it. But when I saw it just now, I was like, damn. That's yeah. like that's like an attack from seat. Uh. Oh yeah, it is. From just, from Fantasy 14. Yeah, we just did that too. That's a good point, actually. You know what? That bumps it up to seven. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last but not I least. Oh my god. Here we go. Guard. All right. Everyone, quiet. Here's the big one. Well, uh, Ron, I know we just, Ron, oh. I know we just talked about Songer, but you didn't tell me he was actually in the game. No, it's the Grungus. <laughs> it's the Grungus. Yeah, that's Why? A, that's he, a, he is, it's great. That's a 12 out of 10. He's such a low-key character, but he does something like this, this and you can't guy. help but admire that. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't understand who on the development development team had such a hard-on for Mueller that they gave him that. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes straight Mueller, the fuck Mueller in. by himself is not a very fun character. He's fun when he interacts with Olivier. They have yeah. great dynamic. But when he's alone, he's not particularly fun or interesting. But then you build that up, and you're like, "Damn, dude! All right." Yeah. Uh, yeah they, he, he is. He's a straight man for Olivier's. Well, Olivier. Yeah. 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 And in and in battle, he just goes insane. He was sick. <laughs> They couldn't give you Cassius as a playable character, so they were like, you know what? Let's let's just give you Cassius, who's not Cassius. Oh, you, you think that would have been Cassius's expert craft? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that would have. I fun. mean, he I doesn't know. have a sword, okay. Cassius. Oh yeah, I guess so. That's a good point. He, he has still would do it. Yeah. He still would do it though, which would make <laughs> it even more ridiculous because he would be doing that with a staff. Yeah. So real quick. Uh, real quick, yeah, I will show you that everyone is 92, 3, 2, 1. Uh, so yeah, Three. in order, uh, Estelle would be... Uh, actually, I think I decided on 8 for her. Uh, Josh was 10, uh, Agate was... Uh, 8, yeah, I'd say 8. Sarah was 4, yeah. Uh, Chloe was 4-ish, Olivia is 10. <laughs> uh, 7, 8... Five. I'm pretty sure it's all recorded. We'll go back. Uh, seven, eight or nine, seven, twelve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a fun little project. Hope you guys enjoyed.